everyone, Leslie Cornwell, Certified Nurse Midwife with Midwifery Business Consultation. I want to talk to everyone about creating accurate fee schedules. It's a common question on social media, on um, consults I get. Definitely it's a vital part of your business to know you're accurately covering your overhead expenses, what you want to get paid, your emergency cushion. You want to be strong today and tomorrow. You want to have your business accurately cover your services. And the challenge is there's no cookie carter like you do this because you do this. Every midwifery practice, every birth professional has a very different overhead, has a different salary expectation, has different benefit needs they need from their practice, has a solo practice, has a team practice, um, does just obstetric care, does births at home, birth center, hospital. Um, they do well woman care, they do a lot of gynecological procedures. Every single person's situation is different. So I love helping with consulting services on creating accurate fee schedules, but I can at least give you some tips and resources to get started so you can get a better sense. Um, it's very difficult to get an accurate fee schedule if you don't have current budget trends and future projected budgets, because how do you know what to create your fee schedule from? If you don't have a good bookkeeper, you don't have your receipts and your expenses and where the money is flowing in and out for your established practice, it's very difficult to know what are you paying yourself, how much does your staff cost you, what are the trends with supplies, marketing, um, clients you're serving, are you getting more insurance, are you getting more cash, are you starting to transition more from the birth center to home, are you starting to do more well woman care for repeat clients, like you have to get a good sense of what are your services you're offering, how much time in detail does each service offer? So with a full global maternity code 59400, you have to calculate the best you can to your ability from the very first prenatal visit to six weeks postpartum, how much time are you serving for those families? How much is it um, taking from your day-to-day -day operation? Because if you estimate I can do 15 births, that's not physically possible for one midwife. Typically national average is four to eight, depending on if you're doing birth center versus home, the radius you serve. So you have to be realistic of your time because yes, you can work all the time and you won't see your family and your friends and have a life out of your practice. So if your budget is inaccurately saying, I'm gonna do five well woman visits a month and I'm gonna do four births a month, you need to make sure your calculations for your fee schedule accommodate that. So you wanna be able to have a good sense of where your practice is now, where you want it to go, and I talk a lot about this, the benefits to yourself. Like what salary are you giving yourself now? What salary do you wanna give yourself in the future? Do you want benefits with your practice? Do you need medical life, retirement? All these things that are traditionally part of a um, job that someone else offers you, you as a business owner should have those benefits for yourself. Um, midwives don't give enough value to the disability insurance and that's something I can definitely talk about um, how important that is for midwives and the stories I've heard about around the country. Um, we give so much of our bodies to midwifery and if our body doesn't want to give anymore unexpectedly a car accident, something, you slip on ice, um, it makes it very difficult for that revenue stream to continue. Um, but anywho, for fee schedules, you really, really want to get a good sense of every single expense you're doing now and what you're going to do in the future, giving yourself an emergency cushion that you're taking a little bit to the business. Um, once you get three to six months of an emergency account, your overhead expenses for the practice, then you don't have to, you can taper that emergency account down, but it's perfect for if something unexpected happens, you have a lot of families risk out, you have an opportunity to purchase a building, need some money down, um, you want to have a business partner. It takes time for the revenue to come in for the care being provided. So it's a vicious cycle. If you're not anticipating giving a cushion of opportunity costs within your budget and your fee schedule, it's very difficult to grow successfully without you exchanging more and more of your time. So I talk to them, look at everything you do, your marketing budgets, your lease, your utilities, your mileage, your supplies, is the vehicle owned by the business, um, the staff, the training of staff, the policies, are you doing birth center accreditation? Like there's so many things in a business budget that's really important and count for every little one. If it's two bucks here, the credit card processing is 3% of fees. 
every single thing, the more accurate you can make your income and expense trends, the better your fee schedule and more accurate it's going to be. Um, you want to look at what the competition's doing in the area. If you want to charge $5,000 and everybody else is charging three, you can do that, but you have to stress the difference in value with your marketing campaigns of what they're getting for the additional $2,000 compared to the competitors. So I'm not saying you want to be exactly what they are. And I always worry when midwives are in groups and they're like, how much should I charge? Well, everybody in our area charges 3000 We charge 6000 And then that's what they use as their fee schedule. And, and it really should be customized to their specific needs, your educational background, the structure of your practice, where you want to go, if you want to be small, mom and pop, simple, and have minimal overhead, and you love midwifery, you're going to have a very different fee schedule than somebody that has malpractice. They have eight years of midwifery and a nursing school they have to pay for. They have a team that they have to support. They're in network with insurance companies. There's different contracts involved. So you really need to customize your fee schedule to your needs. There's multiple things to think about. Um, I've attached to the bottom of this video some of our resources. There's blog posts. There's support groups out there. There's online courses. And then I do one-on-one -on -one with midwifery practices to help them get an accurate fee schedule. So I look forward to meeting you. And hopefully this was helpful trying to figure out your specific situation and how to create an accurate fee schedule.